Hello and welcome back to another episode of Let's Play Schwartheim. Uh, I have already loaded the trailer with the garden goods and the honey. I did spare you with the loading procedure because, you know, <laughs> loading with hand in farming simulator is not uh, <laughs> something too nice to look at. So, while I'm on my way, I will quickly check uh, where the best sell prices are and it's gonna be in this category so we have lettuce and the best price is at Lidli tomatoes the best price is at Pizzeria okay we have never delivered there yet and strawberries the best price is at Lidli okay so lettuce and strawberries go to Lidli Tomatoes go to Pizzeria. What about the honey? The honey has the best price at Cereal Factory. Okay. Now I am not sure where the Pizzeria is. So let me just quickly find it. Tailor Shop. No, it's maybe somewhere over here. Okay, this is Lidli. Okay, Pizzeria is down at Lidli. So I will go over here and drop at Lidli first. Go to Pizzeria and then to Cereal Factory. And that is over here. Yeah. Okay. It's quite a nice load. We have a full trailer. Uh, I do need to buy more solid fertilizer for the garden. And uh, we'll also load the herbicide that we have bought in the previous episode and is still at the uh, vehicle shop. So we're gonna load both of those and bring them back to the farm. And then I'm going to buy uh, an animal trailer because I do have sheep to sell. They have reached their adulthood and they are going to be sold now. And we're gonna buy a new batch of lambs raise them up to be adult sheep and then sell them and the cows are going growing nicely but they are still not ready to be sold so they're gonna have to wait for a bit so we are the proud local producer of goods of vegetables fruits for our local community And the first stop, as I said before, is Lidli. I do have to be careful driving around because I am quite uh, top heavy. You can see the car leaning when I go into the corner. And let me stop over here. Once again, let me, let me check the prices. So honey goes to the other place lettuce and strawberries yeah so the strawberries are loaded in the front over here and lettuce is loaded right at the back i have to be careful so i don't mess the whole load up okay Let's belt these back up. So we got paid for from Lidley four thousand two hundred and eighty-five pounds. Now let's go find that pizzeria. Can I take a shortcut through here? Maybe. And this should be the pizzeria, I think. Is it? 
What does it say? Yeah. Ciao Bella. An Italian name. Go figure. So you... You can have the pomodore. But through Italian pizza. Okay, I don't have to wait for it to be unloaded. So let me get back north to the cereal factory. Okay, so we got paid 1,638 pounds for the tomatoes for pomodore. It is kind of fun being a delivery driver, you know, taking your own goods to be sold at uh, local sell points like uh, Lidli and Pizzeria, when you know you, the guests will enjoy your homegrown uh, tomatoes and lettuce and <clears throat> everything, so yeah. They can also put the label local, you produce goods. Now why did you stop? Come on, go. Yeah, so they can also put the label locally produced goods on their products. And of course I'm happy to help. And I think I have to take a left in here to go to the cereal factory. Let's avoid this cell point. And this, I believe, is a cereal factory. I can simply drive into the cell point and we'll start going down. Yes. Our beautiful honey. We got paid 3,836 pounds for the honey. So we made about around 10,000 pounds profit on this uh, run and of course we're gonna put it all back into our farm economy straight away I was looking at the field because uh, as I said in previous episode we will need more uh, wheat and we will need more straw so there is a field number three it's right behind our farm and it's already seeded with wheat uh, it costs 81,000 pounds and I may be in the market to buy that field just to get our uh, economy moving and as I said for the silage uh, I may lease a field of corn and we may uh, harvest it with a silage harvester okay so how should I park the car somewhere over here and now I need to buy solid fertilizer to keep the garden producing do we have any other no these are the seeds okay let's go with corn Kali and go with eight that's five thousand no let's let's go with four bags six bags let's go with six bags so all the money we got from <laughs> selling the, what's it called, the garden products and the honey is already gone. <laughs> but this is how it is. I'm not sure, I forgot if I can take two at a time. No, I can't. I'm gonna take one at a time and load them up and I will spare you with the loading procedure because oh I can't take two but not not the way I want it but it still works so yay oh, carefully
Okay. That is gonna work nicely. Uh, okay. I'm gonna spare you with the loading procedure. And we'll be back when I'm done. And the last thing to load is the herbicide. I did have to put through two of the solid fertilizer bags on the back of the pickup truck. Otherwise I would not be able to, uh, to put everything on one go. And of course you have to be efficient as much as you possibly can. So yeah, this is our work horse and we are working it like a horse. <laughs> Okay, it does struggle a bit, but I think we're gonna be fine. We just have to take it slowly. So I do want to show you the field I was talking about. Uh, so I'm taking a back road to the, our farm. And it's this one we're coming up to right now. So this one on our right, field number three. It already has wheat in it. Uh, so it's perfect, uh, the size is okay, not too big, not too small, and it's 81,000 pounds. So we could afford it, but we, we, if we buy it right now, we have no money for our other projects. So we may, I may take out a loan. And uh, another good thing is that it's pretty easily accessible from our farm, so it's close, it has a road connection almost to the entrance of our farm. As you can see right in front of us is another field of ours. And here is our farm entrance. So yeah, it is very close. And that is good because if we need to transport bales and stuff like that, it's we don't have to drive too far. All right, so how should I position this setup so we can easily unload it? I think I'm gonna put it here in the grass. And I'm gonna move the flatbed trailer away. Or maybe I don't have to, maybe I would just leave the car like this and then reverse it when we are all unloaded. Of course, that, that's also a feasible plan. Alright. So for this operation we're gonna need the Fent. With the front loader. So let's drop the bucket over here. If I'm not mistaken, the Orcs are over there. And this is why you always put your machines in your in their designated space, otherwise you <laughs> just have to keep moving them around to be able to reach what you want to reach. So yeah, let's go into the right bay. And I'm gonna pick this up that it's already here and empty it straight into the garden. And I think I will empty as much as I can in the garden and the rest is going into the shed over there. Because the garden is our, uh, how should I say, a good producer that gives us uh, some income every day. But it was around 6,000 pounds from the garden alone today from the sold products, which is not too bad. Not too bad at all.
Okay. You can almost hear the car suspension sigh when I <laughs> took off the weight. <laughs> so let me check on the garden. Alright, we have some solid fertilizer. We're just gonna fill it up to the end. There's no need to do not do it. Okay. <laughs> Angry rooster. No, oh, that's gonna be too much. Let's take two at a time. Even this is on the limit of our carrying capability. Since we don't have any rear weights, we do have uh, weights in the wheels. But otherwise it is too heavy. Okay, so it looks like it's gonna take all. Last two bags. Okay. So the seeds are still good, the water is still good. Okay, and this is everything that we could put in the garden. So let me just unload these two almost empty bags, I suppose. Here in the shed. And I think I'm gonna put the herbicide next to them. Let me just put the tines a little bit more closer together. So that herbicide is gonna last us for quite some time and we don't have to move it anymore if I need to load load it into the sprayer I just bring the sprayer right next to it and load it so that's that doesn't have to move a lot and that is why it's going in the corner over here Okay, now for the second part of this episode, let's use the money we still have to buy the the animal transport trailer. Okay, you can wait here. So, animal transport, uh, I think we had this one. It takes eight pieces of cows, 12 of uh, pigs, that doesn't really matter for us, and 12 sheep, and it costs 16,000, this one is 6, for the cows, yeah, that one has a big cow capacity, this one is too big for this, what, what's it called, for this uh, kind of map, and this is the largest, so this one has 7 cows, 8 cows, Six cows, seven cows, twelve cows, but this is a semi trailer. Six, yeah, I think this is the best option. Uh, let me just see what tires do we want. Yeah, we're gonna go with standard. Let's reset the license plate and buy. So, 17,000 pounds. And we're gonna take the John Deere to go pick the trailer up. Arriving back to the farm with our new trailer. Nice is the brand. I think it will serve us very well. It 
So let me go and load the sheep. We only have five sheep to load at the moment, so the trailer is gonna be more than half empty. Let me just see. Okay, let's go. All five, yes. Move to trailer, yes. Okay, we can leave the paddock open. Because there is not going to be any animals in it for the time being until we return with a new batch of lambs. And our cows are also getting quite big, they are not calves anymore. They are heifers, I think it's called. Uh, so we are going to be selling them when the puberty stops. So I can only check that with the female cows. Uh, the male cows do not have the puberty gauge. And yeah, when they are old enough, I'm going to go and sell them. I think I have three trailer loads. So that should make us a nice profit. Their value is almost two times of what the, pr the price that I paid for buying them. So that is going grand. Oops, gotta be careful when I'm driving. So the animal dealer is somewhere around here, yes. Gotta take a left. And I think this is the spot. No, it's over there. Alright, let's go and unload our beautiful sheep. So all five sell. Yes, we got 722 pounds for that. And now let's pick up lambs. Yeah, these are cute. Okay, I'm gonna, with, gonna go with these. So 12 for food trailer, 12,000 pounds. I mean, 1,200 pounds. Ah, look at them go! <laughs> Such cute animals. Yeah, the black-nosed sheep. I think they're called a little bit different here. No goats, sheep. Steinschaf. That's, that looks like it's pronounced Steinschaf. Okay, so while I'm all the way over here, I will take a quick detour and go check on our meadows. Because if they are ready to be mowed down, that will be the first thing we do in the next episode and then produce hay. Our field has already sprouted the sunflowers. Looks like a very healthy crop. Let me just go out and check. Okay, there, is, there are some weeds in between. But it's not a problem because I have a sprayer now and I have herbicide at home. But otherwise, these look like a very healthy sunflowers. Awesome. I also have to check the weather forecast because it's showing rain, but I'm not sure when. Okay, yeah, so the meadows are ready to be mowed, I think. 
I think this is the highest growth stage. Uh, what was I trying to to look at? Yeah, the weather. So it says it's gonna rain from from one to four p.m. Okay, so at five p.m. there's gonna be sunny. If we mow the grass and turn it around here, we should be able to get hay out of our fields. Okay, but that is a problem for another episode because this one is running a bit long at the moment. So let's bring our sheep home. And that is going to be it, I think. So the sheep pen is already open. That means that I can reverse it in and unload our new batch of animals. So let me unload these beautiful animals. Twelve of them move to husbandry. Yes, okay. And here they are. Yes! Yes, I know. I know. I have to close the pen. So they are safely back behind the fence and I believe they have enough food for the last thing let me check how our animals are doing so they have at, uh, around half capacity water and grass which is good the health don't worry is gonna go up so yeah we have bought these uh, these cows the bulls for 300 apiece and the uh, females for one, 100, 200, I think it's 200 apiece, 100 apiece. And look at the value at the moment. So 600 and 765, there is more than twice the, the value it was. Uh, they do need more EMR and they do need to, I do need to take care of the slurry some way i'm not sure how but i will probably sell it and the chickens they are doing great i still need to sell some eggs uh, but otherwise they are the chicken pan is full and they are being sold day by day so this is going to be it for this episode thank you for watching and see you next time bye bye